Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we will see that how to write program for hollow, mirrored, inverted, right triangle star pattern. Okay. So as I said in the previous videos that before writing program for any star pattern, okay, you should first observe that pattern. So let's observe this pattern. That what is something special about this pattern? Okay. So if you will see, I have already contained this pattern inside a 2D array. Okay. So uh, the first thing that we observed is what? The first thing that we observed is how many total number of rows we need to print. So if you will see, we need to print total number of six rows, right? So total rows, total rows that we need to print will be equal to what? It is six. Okay. Now the second thing is that what are the different things that we need to print in this? Okay. You will simply say that we need to print one space uh, and stars. Okay. That is correct. Okay. We need to print space and stars. But space we need to print in two different ways, right? Space we need to print before our first star, okay, before our first star and the spaces that we need to print between the stars, right, between the stars. So we need to print star and the space in two different ways. So we will handle it separately, okay. So let us first see that how we will, uh, you know, understand that or how we will formulate the number of stars that, that number of space that we need to print before our first star, okay. So let us see. For the first row, how many space we need to print before our first star? Zero space, right? For the second row, how many space we need to print before our first star? One space, right? For the third row, how many space we need to print? Two space. For the fourth row, how many space we need to print? Three space. For the fourth row, how many space, sorry, sorry, for the fifth row, how many space we need to print before our first star? Here I'm talking about the spaces that we need to print before our first star, okay? So, four spaces we need to print before our first star. How many spaces we need to print before our first star in the sixth row? That is five, right? So now the thing is that how we will formulate this, okay? How we will formulate this? So let us see. What is the row number for the first row? If you subtract one from it, what we are getting? Zero. Zero number of spaces we need to print before our first star, right? For the second row, what is the row number? Two. If you subtract one from it, what we are getting? One. We need to print one space before our first star. For the third row, what is the row number? That is two. Sorry, for the third row, what is the row number? Three. We are subtracting one from it. What we are getting? Two. So we need to print two space before our first star. For the fourth row, what is the row number? That is 4. If you subtract 1 from it, what we are getting? 3. We need to print 3 space before our first star in the fourth row. Okay. So I hope you understood it. Okay. The formula is what? The formula for keeping track of the spaces that we need to print before our first star is what? Okay. We will formulate this. So total space before first star will be equal to what? It will be equal to row number minus 1. Right? Row number minus 1. Okay. Let us go ahead. Now, the, what is the next thing that we have to do? N next thing is we will take care of the stars that we need to print. Okay. So, for stars, how we will handle it? So, if you will see, if we are on the first row, okay, if we are on the first row, that means if row number will be equal to 1, we need to print stars. Okay. That we are clear. So, first row is done. What, what about the second row till the sixth row? Okay. So here we need to understand it. So for uh, to tackle this, if you will see, I have taken one variable, uh, okay, star, okay, and that variable is initialized to uh, six, okay. That what is six? Total number of rows, okay. That variable is initialized to total number of rows, okay. This variable is going to be decremented for each row by one, okay. So for this first row, it is six. For the second row, what it will be? It will be five, okay. For the fourth row, it will be uh, uh, 6 minus 2 that is 4 okay so like that so there is one loop variable okay there is one loop variable okay there is one loop variable that is k equal to 1 okay that is k equal to 1 so this is loop variable and it will run up to what it will run up to k less than equal to stars okay star it will run up to star number of times okay for each row so for the first row how many times it will execute for the first row it is going to execute uh, for 6 times okay k will be incremented to 1 k will be sorry k is 1 initially k will be incremented to 2 k will be incremented to 3 k will be incremented to 4 and then k will be incremented to 5 k will be incremented to 6 what is the significance of it what is the significance of it okay for the first row anyway uh, for the first row anyway you understood that for the first row if row number is equal to 1 we are going to print one star okay so uh, let us write our observation okay you stay with me okay uh, you stay with me Watch the full video, you are going to understand everything, okay. So, if row number equal to 1, if row number equal to 1, we need to print 1 star, okay. So, for the first row, the value of k does not matter much, okay. The value of k does not matter much. 
since we have already taken if row number equal to one then we need to print one star okay then we need to print stars okay so for the first row a k value does not matter but for the second row the value of k matters a lot okay so let us understand this so for the second row also the k value will be initialized to one okay since it is a loop variable okay and this loop will be inside the uh inside the inside one for loop okay it is a nested for loop okay so k will be initialized to one okay so uh, where we are when k is one then where we are as you know that we have already taken care of the spaces that we need to print before our first star right so we have already printed this space in the second row in the second row we have already printed this space so if k is one then where we are we are at this position right we are at this position so we need to print one star right so if k is one then we need to print one star okay if k is one then we need to print one star okay so after that if you will see if k is getting incremented to two if k is getting incremented to two where k will be where k will be k will be at this position we don't need to print space uh, a star right so okay and for the second row what will be the value of space star what will be the value of star it will become five right it will become five okay just stay with me okay i am i'm running this you are going to understand it so what is the value of k now now the value of k is 2 so we have to do nothing right we need to print space okay what is the uh, after that again k will get incremented to 3 we don't need to do anything again k will get incremented to 4 okay so i hope you are understanding when k is 3 k is here okay uh, when k is 4 we are here okay when k will be 5 we will be here right when k will be 5 when k will be 5 we are at the star position so if you will see when k is 5 the value of k and star is equal right the value of k and star is equal this is the significance of decrementing star each time by 1 and incrementing k each time by 1 okay so if you will see at the last okay when we are at the last row when we are at the last row okay when we are at the last row the value of k and star becomes equal and in that case we need to print star right i hope you understood it let us run it for row number three as well okay if you have any confusion it is going to be cleared okay so if row number equal to three okay what will be the star value of star the value of star will be four for it right so we have already decremented it okay so k will be initialized to one again okay k will be initialized to one again okay and if k is initialized to one where we are where we are we have already printed two spaces right we have already printed two spaces so where we are if k equal to one at this place at this place right at this place so we need to print one star so if k is one okay if k is one if k is one we need to print one star let us change the color okay it's creating confusion otherwise okay so if k is one we need to print one star right okay and then again what will happen k will get incremented to 2 okay and then k will uh, we need we will print space k will get incremented to 3 we will print space k will get incremented to 4 see k was 1 okay here when we, we were here k was 1 when we went there k became 2 okay when we are here k became 3 okay now we are at the last position right now we are at the last row uh, sorry uh, yeah at the last position of the row so k is what 4 okay value of k is 4 okay value of k is 4 value of k is 4 and the value of star is also 4 right value of star is also 4 so that means both became same so we need to print one star okay so what did we observe from this what did we observe from this we observed that we observed that if the value of if the value of k is 1 okay we need to print star and if the value of k is equal to equal to star okay we need to print one star okay sorry we need to if the value of k will be equal to equal to star okay star is a variable okay then we need to print uh, star otherwise we need to print space okay if you have any confusion okay you just go uh, a bit back okay and try to understand uh, that again okay and if you are still not able to understand it i'm going to uh, you know uh, run the pseudo code okay and then i will implement it so you we are going to understand it in the pseudo code okay so let us see this so this one i have already written okay so if you will see this first for loop okay this first for loop it is going to take care of the number of rows that we need to print okay so what it will do it will take care of the row number okay so i is what what i will represent i will represent a row number 
right i will represent row number what this for loop is going to do what this for loop is going to do this for loop is going to print the spaces that we need to print before our first star okay so how many times this for loop will run this for loop will uh, execute from j equal to 1 okay j less than i okay so if you will see if it is 1 okay if if j is 1 and row number is 1 so how many times it will execute zero times right so uh, zero number of spaces will get printed you understood it right it is similar to uh, writing like uh, i minus 1 okay here you give equal to and write minus 1 okay it is similar to row number minus 1 okay so you understood it right so spaces will be printed from this for loop okay after that this for loop okay this for loop is responsible for printing star and be, uh, space between the stars okay so here if you will see the k uh, that is k variable okay k variable that we took in the previous page okay for understanding so it is running up to star okay and k is getting incremented each time by one okay and understand this if if condition okay inside this if there are three condition i equal to one or k equals to equals to one or k equals to equals to star okay so what this i equal to equal to one what is i i is taking care of row number right so for the first row for the first row i, I said you that uh, we need to print stars okay what is this k equals to equals to one when k is one we are standing where for each row we are standing at the first star that we need to print right for the fifth row here we are understanding okay st standing so if the value of k is one that means we are standing at the first star position so we will print star okay first star position okay if k equals to equals to star if k equals to equals to star then we are standing at the which position we are standing at the last position okay last position of the row so in that case also we need to print star okay so i hope you understood it and if uh, this is not true okay if none of the conditions matches okay then in that case we need to print space okay after that we will change the line and after changing the line we need to decrement the star okay star variable initially star variable was initialized to what it was initialized to 6 okay so it will get decremented each time by 1 as i explained in the previous page also okay so i hope you understood that if you have any confusion okay i have already listed down the uh, uh, social media uh, uh, links okay where you can connect with me either in linkedin uh, or in uh, uh, or in telegram or in uh, facebook uh, twitter instagram okay you can connect with me anywhere you can ping me your query over there i will try to explain it okay so uh, yeah now let us jump to the uh, coding part okay let us see just a minute let me change the video uh, window yeah yeah okay so we are at the right way okay so let us see this let us execute it control b I have already written this so this for loop is responsible for printing the number uh, uh, row number okay this will keep track of the row number this for loop is printing uh, responsible for printing the number of spaces that we need to print before first star and this for loop is responsible for printing the spaces and stars okay and after that we are changing the line and then we are decrementing the variable star so let us execute this if you are executing it okay then we are getting the desired if we change this to suppose seven okay and we are so we are getting seven number of rows okay so i hope you understood the uh, the whole video if you didn't get anything please ping me uh, on the social media channels okay uh, thank you for watching please subscribe the channel